guys, I got a moment to myself. And it's cold enough I got the boots out. Okay, this is a revisit to Green Lane. This is at the bird watching area. And look how dry it is now. Look at that. It was too muddy before, but looks dry enough to go exploring now with my boots. I've seen a couple people go out. Let's go see what we can see. Oh, the squirrels, they're always scaring me. I wonder if that's a bald eagle over there. I don't know, we'll see. Wow, I cannot believe this. Some vegetation growing, but... Oh my gosh, and it's a lot of rocks here too. Huh. Thick the mud is. That's crazy. It's kind of beautiful, honestly. Boop. Anyways. So excited because I've always wanted to explore these little islands right here that are, they look like they're just um, willow. Just like a bunch of willow trees and willow shrubs. So I'm going to get to go explore those without taking a boat. It's crossed. This little dry patch. I don't know why it's so dry right there. But it looks like I can walk over and connect to the islands. Um, and if you remember in one of my other videos, that's where the beavers were hanging out. Looks like something's been digging a hole. Hmm. Go check it out. I'm so excited. This is a person that's been digging holes because there's a bunch of them and it's got a stick in each one. Hmm. I'll explain to you how excited I am right now. What a thrill. Look at this. Untouched land. Know where to start? I'm so excited. not have enough time to cover this much gravel bar so I'll definitely have to come back but I could do this for hours look at it oh my gosh this was all underwater I'm so jazzed right now there is a bald eagle nest that way so maybe we'll get to see him Most of this is crappy red shale, but sometimes they see jasper in this area, so we'll see. Mmm, yummy! I see a little beaver. That's a baby. That's the baby beaver. I don't know where his friends are at. And there it goes a little red-winged blackbird playing in the water. This is too beautiful. Look at these willow trees. These are all willow trees. That is stunning. Guys, it's so beautiful. I just love fall. Look at the reflections in the water. That's the belt of kingfisher. Dude, this reminds me of Wyoming and Idaho. Look at that. If you've ever been to like Wyoming, Idaho, Grand Teton, Yellowstone, that's what this reminds me of. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So cool. Cross. Very clear. 
I have to bring my mother here. She's gonna be so jazzed. Now, any of these green lane locations will close. They're gonna close the gates here at sunset, whatever time that is during the year. It's all pulling up in these two little areas, getting pretty deep, like a little creek. And then meeting in the middle there. Looks like the reservoir's a creek now. Just like it used to be. The way that this looks like Yellowstone National Park is blowing my mind. That's amazing. Joins together and there's this deep drop off. Well, it's a couple feet deep right there. I really want to get down, way down there. It's starting to get pretty muddy. Let's run across. Let's run across over there and see how it looks over there. Let's see. I don't know who's been driving out here. Somebody's been out here with some four-wheeler? I don't know. Look at those colors. That's nice. Starting to sink. <laughs> I was not the only one. <laughs> I'm just really sad that there's not enough time in the day because this just goes on forever. It just keeps going all the way. Down, I could walk all the way to the bridge if I wanted to. There's like the whole bank. And it just occurred to me that this is a beaver dam. Right there. There's the entrance. So, beaver dam. This was all underwater. Now they have this skinny little, teeny tiny skinny little creek to work with. That's pretty cool though. There's their entrance. That's awesome. That's so cool. They have, um, couple, there's a couple of beaver dams way on that side. First time seeing one over here. So many tires here. This one's huge. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna clean any of it up, but like up there, there's so many tires. I'm gonna keep going. I gotta get back to the car before too long, or the rangers will not be happy with me. I have to get over there. Look at all the rocks. There's rocks over there. I have to see. I have to. Gosh, they're right there, but I just, I'm gonna sink too much. I can't do it. I'm sinking so hardcore. They look like river rocks. It's not fair. Oh, this is like quicksand. I need to abort that mission. Dang it. If it stays like this for another month or two, then I'm gonna have a really good time. Even in the winter, this would be really cool, like any season. <laughs> like, wow. So cool. And down there, there's a bridge. I don't, I don't know if we'll get to that today. back I can't wait to get back to Green Lane that was so cool um I really wish I could have gotten to the other side but I just ran out of time the sun was going down and my ears were freezing from the wind anyways I just stopped and looked at the moon and it's amazing tonight so if you can get out go see the moon it's beautiful like so stunning. I don't know if it's a full full moon, but it's it looks like it. So get out. I was kind of eavesdropping on some photographers. Um, one dude was from Sweden, and they were talking about the northern lights and photographing the comet. I was like, oh my gosh, these guys are so cool, so legit. I love meeting people there because it's always like photographers and hikers and. It's really cool people but yes get out do yourself a favor get out go look at the moon even if it's for a minute it's worth your time <laughs>